can't quite put my finger on it, but I liked it a hell of a lot more when we won 3-2, as opposed to when we lost 3-2. I'm sorry about all this crap on my top. I move in the process. We're still in the process of moving. And as you know, this is the only top that I actually own. So it's all covered in shit. So there you go. And um, speaking of things that are shit, you buggers, Bolton, you buggers. You ruined my Saturday afternoon. Not once, but twice now this season. Bolton Wanderers are the first side to do the double over us. And after a week ago, we were all in absolute ecstasy cheering on a brilliant 3-2 home win against Pompey. <sighs> We've had that scoreline reversed on us today and it ended up Oxford United 2, Bolton Wanderers 3. A great game of football. A brilliant game of football, actually. Um... One that we've just come out the wrong side of it. Full credit to Bolton Wanderers. They played their part in a thoroughly entertaining game and they come away with the points. Um, I, you know, I'd say they deserved it. It was a very, very 50-50 game. The momentum of the game swung between the two sides all the way through, really. And uh, just unfortunately, there's going to be a lot of doom and gloom around Oxford fans. That is the second defeat in a row. Obviously, a bad week losing to Aki in a game that we all put down to. Oh, well, you know, it's crap weather. You know, it was a bad result. We're missing some players. You couldn't really excuse it today. It was a very good Oxford United lineup. There was no excuses about weather. Um, I just think this was two very good attacking sides playing a very gung ho game and. As I say, we came out the wrong side of it. Before I go over this great game of football, you just have to say that this game did highlight a lot of the flaws in this Oxford United side, um, which is a worry moving forward and has been a worry for quite a few games now. And it's difficult to see where that's really going to be addressed just with the personnel that we have or the personnel that we don't have. But I do want to stress that before anybody comes on here in the comment, doom and gloom mongering. I mean, Bolton fans, you can say what you like. But Oxford fans, doom and gloom mongering, saying it's season over, blah, 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 players not good enough, Goran is the answer to everything. Look, we lost games when Alex Goran was playing too. Remember that. You're always a better player when you're out of the side. But there is a glaring weakness there. We will get to it. But uh, yeah, so just don't be, be constructive in the criticism. Don't just come on and say absolute twaddle like Robinson out and stuff like that. And the players are shite and all that. Because they're not. They're not. We're still in a strong position. The playoff picture is going to go all the way down to the wire. Teams like Bolton are on an exceptional run. Uh, remember, they spanked Sunderland and caused a meltdown up there recently. So, yeah, they're, an, they're a good team. And, and last season, they got their shit together at the back end of the season and stormed up the league. And it looks like they're going to be well prepared to do that in League One this season. And, they, you know, you really can't rule them out of the playoff charge, certainly from what I've seen this afternoon. OK, so first half in particularly was a, a, a brilliant game of football. It was end to end. It was very gung ho. It was both sides creating a whole host of chances. And we got four goals to go over. Billy Bowden opened the score in Frogs United with a wonderful free kick uh, ride on sort of like the point of the right hand side of the box. And everyone was looking for a cross. But Billy Bowden thought, bugger, I'm just going to put it in the top corner. And he put it right in the top corner of the goal. And you're thinking, great, 1 0 up for a change. Usually we're 1 0 down in these games. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can build on it. But that plan was ripped up in about 10 seconds because straight from kickoff, Bolton got forward and scored a really good equaliser. Ball came out to John on uh, Bolton's left, Oxford's right, and he ran at Sam Long and he drilled this shot and it went through Long's legs. And uh, Long's, long, Long's long legs. And uh, yeah, it was a very well hit effort right into the bottom corner. There was not really much Stevens could do about it. And within a blink of an eye, uh, from 1 0 up, we were 1 1. And it really was both sides just going hammer and tong at each other for lack of a better phrase there and both sides look good going forward both sides look quite vulnerable at the back and it was Oxford who got that second goal and again it was a great goal from Billy Bowden good move forward and he got some space on the edge of the box and he uh, was able to get the ball out of his feet and produced a great finish into the but this time it was low to the keeper's right instead of high to the keeper's right and it was 2-1 to Oxford and yeah, back in front, and you're thinking, can we hold on to it this time? Well, we did for a bit longer. It was a little bit longer this time. It was like six minutes, I think. And uh, then Bolton did get a bit of a head up of steam. 
We could not clear the danger. Uh, I think there was a header. It was an all right, all right header from Luke McNally, but it fell straight to Fossey, who was fantastic for Bolton all afternoon. And he was very calm and very assured and just put said thank you very much and put it into the top corner and then wheeled away doing backflips all over the Kassam Stadium pitch. And uh, yeah, so that was that was it at half time. You're thinking, cool, we'll have a bit more of this, but hopefully we can uh, end up on the winning side of it. Second half was a bit more low key than the first half. It was unlikely it was going to be played at the same pace, but I thought that it was kind of bookended by Oxford playing well at either end of the half, with Bolton having the better play in the middle. Uh, both sides again created chances. It, it looked like it was going to end up with a 2-2 draw. Well, actually, I think Oxford maybe were more likely the ones who were going to nick it with the chances that we did create. But we got well, they sucker punched. I mean, Bolton counter-attacked on us and they scored a great goal, a really good goal. And Oxford will be... We'll, I'm sure there'll be fans cursing about the defence on that one. But it is hard to really blame the defenders for any of the goals today. They were just really good goals. And this was a... Great move down the right-hand side. I think it was Fossey again. Forgive me if I'm wrong. Correct me in the comments, Bolton fans. And he's got down the right-hand, got down the right um, and produced a great cross, inch-perfect cross for Bakayoko to stuck it in the goal. And, well, he, not much he couldn't really miss, but he produced a great finish, celebrated in front of our fans, which, yeah. And, uh, yeah, and that was the end of it. Oxford huffed and puffed. Stephen Jack Stevens came up for the end. But it ended 3-2 and not in our favour for the first time in a couple of games at the Kassam Stadium. And it is, yeah, it was a killer at the end. It, it felt sickening at the end, really, to lose that game. But Bolton would have felt sick to lose that game too. It was a very, very even Stephen game. And um, I think the glaring issues that have to come down to Oxford is, you know, Creating chances and not scoring them. I mean, when when Taylor's not scoring goals, we do struggle a little bit um, at times. Although Billy Bowden's had a screamer today, looks like he went off injured. It wasn't too bad, but there's some players like Kirby Kane annoys, beginning to annoy me a little bit because he seems to get a free pass all the time um, about just people waxing lyrical about how what a good footballer he is. And he is a good footballer, but he's not really impacting these games. He's not um, really assisting many goals. He's not scored. I don't think he's scored since he's been here. And he's not a very good defensive midfielder. And I know we're missing Alex Gorin in there, and he is more of your combative centre midfielder, whereas Kane would be more of your quote-unquote quarterback. But... I don't think he does a very good job in there. Uh, and, uh, and I think we're very weak at the back. And, and it's a lot of the time. That's two goals now in two games where we've defend a defender's headed the ball out of play, out, out of danger. And the defender's got the blame for that. And it was Brown against Accrington and it was McNally today where it's fallen straight to an opposing player. But where's the midfield picking up that second ball? Where is Brannigan? Where is Kane? Where is Sykes? Um or McGuain picking up these loose balls, picking up these threads. And, and it's like, it's a massive problem now. And that is like so many games. That is like Lincoln, Wick, Lincoln, Wickham, um, Sheffield Wednesday, Accrington, Portsmouth, and now today, where we've conceded at least two goals. Gillingham as well got two past us. I know we won that game 7-2. So defensively we are really poor at the moment and I know that can't all be down to missing Jordan Thornley uh, so and I don't see where the answer is on that I don't see where Robinson's going to address this so please let me know because I ain't got a bloody clue so it looks like for the remaining game of the season ready to the season Oxford's going to be a phenomenally entertaining team to watch but we're going to have to put up with I mean, we're going to have to just live on our nerves and hope that we can uh, score more goals, like Kevin Keegan style, score more goals than the opposition. Because we can't just start. We just can't seem to keep clean sheets. We can't seem to shut teams out at all. And I do. I think McNally's good. I think Long's good. I think that Elliot Moore's good. I have question marks over Steve Seddon. I think he's excellent going forward. I think he's a suspect left back. Um, but it's. Uh, it's a worry. It's a worry. And look, these, these, these chasing pack, the chasing pack behind us is getting a lot closer now. There's a lot of tight sides getting reeled in with the likes of us having a couple of slip-ups. 
and uh, Wickham having a bit of a slip up, Sunderland having a bit of a slip up. So it's all coming back in together. And I mean, it's only a couple of games ago we were up, we were we were all riding high, and, and and so I guess you can't quite throw the baby out with the bathwater with it, but. It's frustrating. It's a little bit worrying. It's obviously not season over or anything like that. It just means more pressure on the next game for Oxford to go out and get a win and respond. But today was such a good game of football. Do not forget that as well. And it, I'm forgetting it too. Today was an excellent game of football. And Oxford played well. And Bolton played well. And Bolton just edged it in a five-goal thriller. So it will seem like doom and gloom. But it's not doom and gloom. But it does seem like we're going to have to uh, maybe win a few games by 3-2, 4-3, 5-4 come the end of the season. Uh, What do we think of Robinson's tactics then? Did he wait too long? Should he have brought Bolzok on sooner? Should he have brought Wynn along? Did did he he make mistakes in that area at all? Let me know down below. And Bolton fans, as I say, I haven't really talked about you very much, but very entertaining side I think you're in for an exciting uh, end of the season you don't really need me to tell you that but you've picked out not even picked our pocket That's but you've done this twice to us twice you've come back from a losing position to beat us and it annoyed me the first time it doubly annoys me this time but um, well done to you lot and uh, yeah flood the comments with all of your thoughts about what you're going to do this season. No doubt you're going to be delusions of grandeur and you're going to end up winning the league by 50 points. But that will do it for me. Thank you very much. Maybe a bit longer than normal, but it was a good game of football to talk about and there were quite a lot of things to go over. So hit like, hit subscribe. Uh, I'll be back with some more videos very soon. And thanks for watching. Have a good evening.